Hello guys and welcome back to another video and today in this Kingdom Come Deliverance tutorial I'm going to be explaining how to remove any stolen item effect in any item. Now the requirements are going to be at least a 10 lock picking level. This is to pick some very hard locks. I'll show you what my skill is at. It's at a 13th level and to pick a very hard lock you need at least 15 and the bare minimum is 10. Because you can use something called a padfoot potion that raises your lockpicking, pickpocketing, and stealth skills for by five for ten minutes. You can get these at the apothecary or make them. So if you want to know how to make them, just search them online. So today I'm gonna to show you how to do that. But first we need to get a stolen item. So I was thinking of robbing this bathhouse by Rate just to show that the stolen item can be any time recently so we gotta wait for her to close the door and go to bed so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna wait a little longer for her to get to bed wait for this long loading screen and if you're wondering i'm using the best best stealth outfit so i'll be making a video on this soon as you can see i have zero noise 20 vitality and 24 conspicuation but apparently something's raising my uh oh probably the torch but we're gonna rob something so i'm gonna remove the torch I think I- no, okay. We're gonna get all stealthy. Now you can use a padfoot potion to raise your stealth right now if you want to, if you're going to steal the item. But I'm gonna eat a shave your snap to save. And again, the reason I'm showing this is to know something can be stolen for this work. So this is open actually, so you should have to walk back this hopefully no one's awake. Okay. We're gonna go up. Hopefully that no one's awake. And yes, there are two women right here. Are sleeping, and I'm gonna go somewhere a little bit more secluded. This bed or this uh bedroom. Hopefully, steal something from this trunk. Hopefully, no, probably not. They're too awake. So I'm gonna. Uh, what am I gonna do? I think I already have this chest unlocked, so I'm going to have to take something from it. Nope, it's a hard lock, so I might have to pickpocket. There you go. He's a, she seems a little bit too wakey, so I'm gonna have to. This might just gonna wake someone. No, okay, so we're gonna take uh, loot. I'm gonna take this nightgown, just for reasons. And as you can see, if I go to armor, this nightgown is stolen. Now this can be done with any item, no matter what the price is or anything. So let's get on my horse, and we're going to head to the Rete Miller. So, once you've gotten to the Rete Miller, depending on the value of your item, you're going to have to have a, a few, or depending on your item. So this night, this night, oopsie, this nightgown is worth about 20 groschen, so I should bring about 60. And the reason for this is you're going to be buying your item. But the nice thing about this is, is that you won't get your groschen back. So again, make sure you have at least a 10 lockpicking skill and a pad foot potion. So what you're going to do is you're going to make sure your lockpick skill is 10. Have your Groshen, depending on what your item is. So let's say you have a Nerve and Curious, you want to get the stolen effect from. That's worth about 2.5k. So I'd bring it up to 6,000 because the Miller sells it for a lot. But once you've drank your pad foot potion, you're going to unlock this very hard lock door. You should be able to unlock this. Make sure you save before it so it's easier. Open the door. Lockpick this chest. It'll also be a very hard lock, or hard, one of the two. But make sure you unlock it. And you're trespassing, but that's fine. So what you're doing is you're going to rob it. Now as you can see here, he has a K garage, and so if you want to take that, you can. But go over to your stolen item and put it in there. Now you got to be quick about this, because he sells his, his, sell, he sells his armor. So, you're going to go over to the miller. He should be sleeping somewhere. I'm going to go up to the miller. He should be awake. I thought I heard him move. I'm gonna talk to him, and if he's like, oh, bugger off, wait till morning, and hopefully your item's still there, or wait till the morning when he's not paying attention. So you're gonna sell the stolen goods, and it's like in him for some reason. So you get in, and of course you see the nightgown here, and once you buy it, you see, it's actually worth 40. So about two times as much as the actual item is. So, I'm gonna buy it. Oh, actually, I removed it. Oopsie. Nightgown, basket. You can haggle. You know, it doesn't matter. Just, you'll get your Groshen back. So you see, he has a 1k Groshen. 
and he's gonna still have a key. So, he's gonna go back to bed, but he's gonna be mingling around for some reason. He won't come out as long as it's night. So, once you get your item, and I show you, the nightgown has its stolen effect move. It won't get removed off you if a guard searches you and you fail your ch check, or you go to jail. So, now to get your Groshen back, just head over to this chest. You can, and then boom, there will be his Groshen back. And as you can see, it's 1037.7 Groshen. That's, that 37.7 is how much I spent on the nightgown. Take it back, and it won't be marked as stolen, because how are they going to know? How are they going to know that this Groshen is his? So, that is how you steal it. And what's cool about this door is it always remains unlocked. So, let's say you stole a bunch of gear to the Miller Pashek, and you come back a few days later, and he's got like, 70k Groshen in there, just take it, and you'll be loaded. You'll be loaded for life, and you'll keep doing this and doing this, taking your Groshen back, taking your Groshen back, and it's it's great. Shut up, though. So, that's how to steal, or that's how to get any stolen item effect removed off that any piece of equipment, anything. Anything that can be bought. Anything that can be put in a chest. Sadly, this is not work on horses, but who cares. But, that is it for today's video, and I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you later.